Things you must do first, project location. We've talked about the project base point. Where is the zero, zero found? We'll discuss that even more in depth as we go along. But what does that mean in terms of the building? Well, we know that that's the zero, zero of Revit, and everything based upon the building will be based off of that important point. But what about in terms of Earth? For instance, I'm going to click on the default 3D view up in the quick access toolbar. And we're going to get a 3D view of what has been drawn. What if I was to go to the sun path and turn on the sun path? Now, notice what it's saying. It's saying that use the specified project location, date, and time. So what that's saying is our project has a specific project location, date, and time. And if we set this correctly, we can use the sun path as well as do shadow studies and other energy analysis software in order to analyze our building. It's important to do this early on in the project. That way it's set up and you're always able to get an accurate snapshot of the building in its environment. So how do we set the location? Go to manage in the ribbon and then go to the project location section in that ribbon. And what we can do is we can pick location. I will advise you that depending on the resolution of your screen, this may have text on it that specifically says project location. At my resolution, it's just an icon, but yours is right there under manage under project location. So if I click on that button, what does it do? Now well, let's click and see. When we click on that tool, what it's going to do is bring up an internet mapping service of course based upon Google. So many of us are familiar with that, how to find Google Maps. And what we can do is type the address. Now, the address that we're setting for this particular project is just a fictitious address based upon a location in Toronto. I'm going to type this in, 70 Enfield Ave, Toronto. Now we're going to click on Search, and it's going to take us right there. Once we've set that, we simply say OK and our project is now based upon that location. There is some other information that can be gathered later, which is weather information, which can help towards the energy analysis of our building, but we won't be doing that during the essentials. I'm gonna accept that and click OK, and you may have noticed very slightly this right here, this is the sun path, very slightly it changed. We're gonna talk about this sun path and analyze its settings in further videos. Now, where is that location specifically? Well, that right there is 70 Enfield Ave, Toronto. So we have set the project location. Now, we can also set the geodetic height. If I click on the project base point, it has an elevation associated with it. And we could again pick a real, or in this case, just a fictitious elevation at 200 feet above sea level, and that would set our geodetic height. So what we have done is we've identified our origin, we've set it in the proper place on Earth, and this is going to help us if we need to set a geodetic height, if we need to do energy analysis, or if we need to export out to AutoCAD.